What's up everyone, it's OJH and we're back at it again and in this video we're going to talk about killing Gish the Unmoving. This boss can get messy pretty quickly so we'll get straight into it and hopefully this tactic, these decks, this strategy will help you out. So a few things to note. Firstly is that if like myself you've got under level bandits and you're hoping to play them to get into uh, this chest here that the two plague farmers up here can throw pumpkins down and will one-shot your bandits if they are low level like mine. I think mine are about level 20, uh, so four levels below. Uh, so if you are gonna play your bandits uh, down here, then you're gonna need something up at the top with Gish to tank for them. Now, there are the two gargoyles, which are over on the left and the right. The tactics I'm going to show you today, you do not need to pull them to kill Gish. The first video I'm going to show, um, we don't pull them and we get this done pretty cleanly. The second one, we managed to pull both of them, uh, not at the same time. If you do pull them both at the same time, you've probably got big problems. Um, but we'll run through the tactic in that situation as well. And then there'll be the other video clips. So we've got one run for each of the five leaders in this. But the main tactic that you want to do in this one is you're going to want to drop well pegs over here with the flame burst talent. And once the well pegs are over there, you're going to want to drop something over here, probably your quill bore to tank and to kill this skeleton mage here. That way, if your well pegs are strong enough, and I think mine are only 23, so they're still slightly under level for this, that they will get Gish down to 50%, at which point he will spawn and start making his way down to your base here. So that's going to be the main tactic for this. He's going to be well pegs on one side. It can be the left or it can be the right. Quill bore ideally on the opposite side to the well pegs. Uh, that will spawn Gish. And once you've got that set up, make sure that you don't go mad on spending your gold. You are going to have defending to do, but you do want to keep hold of gold because the fight with Gish uh, can be uh, pretty sticky. So the deck then that we've used for Baron. So Baron... Uh, we've got the Defiance Bandits in there. I think I said they were level 20. Mine are only uh, 19, so five levels below. Necromancer as one of our damage dealers with the talent to uh, summon skeleton mages. We've got the safe pilot with the invisibility cloak. That is for um, the big, you find some, you, you'll be going up against some pretty big pushes that are coming in. So having a big splash uh, unbound mini like that is good. Uh, you might also be able to snipe the gold chest with that as well. So safe part's a good one on this. Quillbore, as I mentioned, essential. Well pegs, as I mentioned, essential. And then in this, we've gone for Pyromancer with the Pyroblast talent because it's huge DPS on that first hit. And that's really, really really going to help us get through either Gish himself or either of the two mini bosses on the left and right. Let's get into the run. Right, let's get into the run then. So this is the cleanest run of all of the ones that I completed. Um, what we're going to do is Baron coming down straight away to get rid of that enemy Worgen. And we've got a pretty good start in hand. So before we've got any huge pushes coming our way, we're going to throw the well pegs up onto the top there. Quillbore opposite side to tank and distract. And our well pegs are only level 22. Uh, so two levels below this, Quillbore level 23, that's going to be enough for this. So we know now, through trial and error, that that is going to be enough to get Gish to spawn. So I played my Pyromancer in the back, because I know I'm going to have to cycle around to another one to deal with this big push. That's Gish on the way, Kobold played as a distraction, and the Pyromancer doing work on that ghoul. But a Necromancer played in the back, and we've had a safe pilot come down now to take out the enemy uh, pyromancer and well pegs to finish it off and act as a distraction we're now going to play quillbore in the back to distract gish we've got the second pyromancer down hammering away and the towers hammering, hammering away and that is that that is what we're aiming for it doesn't always go that way but that's what we're aiming for but this next video uh, we'll see what happens if we do pull either or both of the gargoyle statues 
So the second deck then is going to be with Tyrion. Uh, we've got the Consecration talent on Tyrion for no reason other than that's the only talent I had in the shop. I think it's the first one I bought. It's definitely the wrong talent to have, but I've not had any other since, so we're stuck with that. We've got Save Pilot in there again. This time we've got the Bandits um, leveled up past uh, 19. Uh, Quillbore, essential. Wellpegs, essential. For me, Pyromancer with the Pyroblast talent is absolutely essential. And for a change on this one, we've got Chimera it in there because of the uh, double attack that it does putting poison onto gish as well i think that chimera is actually sneakily good on this one so let's have a look at the run here we go then so we're going to play bandits to start with immediately uh, we've played the sequence a few times so we know we're going to have to do something about that i've played my quill ball up on top to protect my bandits otherwise uh, the Plague Farmers up top, we're going to start lobbing pumpkins down. That would have killed them straight away. And unfortunately, our well pegs, after doing what they were supposed to do, have headed off to the right and they've been unchallenged and they have spawned the gargoyle on the right. So we're not going to over-defend here because we know we've got other things to worry about as well. But Chimera and the Pyromancer are going to be enough to sort that out for us. Uh, and then we're going to play the safe pilot on top of that Necromancer. And then look at the size of the push we've got coming in from the left. So this is where this fight can drag on a bit because you want to be saving your well pegs and your quill ball for getting Gish spawned. But clearly it doesn't always happen like that. So yet again, I need the gold because we've been doing a lot of defending. So I've had to sacrifice my quill ball up at the top and my stabby bandits just in time get that chest. So even at level 22, they're gonna, they get one-shotted by the plague farmers. <clears throat> And we've managed to spawn uh, the Gargoyle on the left. So it's going to be the same again. It's going to be the Chimera and the Pyromancer. We're not going to uh, commit too much to this um, because, you know, we're going to get ran over uh, in other areas of the map uh, defending. But we've got our well pegs now. We've sorted our side clamp. We've got our well pegs. We've got our quill ball coming in. That will be enough to spawn Gish. So we're just... Don't panic, don't stress about it, just deal with what you've got. So, we're not going to be able to get that chest, we're just not going to be able to compete with that, because at the minute we know that Gish is going to spawn, I need to save my gold, because there's going to be a right onslaught coming, and look at the size of the push we've got to deal with as well. There is a, a Pyromancer, and I think there was three enemy Necromancers that are coming our way, we haven't got time to worry about that. <clears throat> so we've got a Pyromancer down. We've got Chimera down, we played well pegs behind for distraction, we're praying on a quill ball, quill ball comes down, Chimera's still doing its bit, Paramancer doing her bit, and then we're going to save pal on top of all of this, and that will be that, but if that had gone on for any longer, we might have been in big trouble. So I hope this video helps you. If it does, let me know how you get on in the comments. Please consider giving this video a like. For more content like this, get yourself subscribed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
Justicia! Station! Station! 